Hi guys, we are back with the Drill Breakdown series with Kamui Brand. Today I will show you a cool drill from PoolBillards.co, which I'm currently using to prepare for 10 ball tournaments. I hope you will find it helpful and use it in your practice routine. Have fun! We start with ball in hand, but before starting I would like to check where I want to place the cue ball after I make the one ball. Here I have two options. Option number one is to play the one ball and get the pos uh, position to the next ball here. But the problem with this area is that I have to be almost perfect because if I will be uh, here, I will have the obstacle ball seven, which interrupts me to get the good position to the three ball. If I place the cue ball too much to this side, we have another obstacle ball here. So I have to be almost perfect in this small zone. So I would choose this area, because as you can see, it's pretty wide. I can control the cue ball. After I make the one, I need to touch the cushion somewhere around this point. And I have a good angle to the two ball to play the next ball after. Here is it. I have a nice angle and again I'm checking the trajectory of the cue ball. Here I can choose. Play just soft and put the cue ball in this area without contact with the rail. But I would prefer to play with more speed, touch the rail and then get the good position for the three because like this I'm more comfortable with the speed. I'm sure I can control it better. Then from here we are checking again. We have so many obstacle balls. How to get the position from 3 ball to the 4? Here is two options I can see from where the cue ball is. The first option is to play it this trajectory. Here is the point of the contact with the rail. Here is the line where I would like to leave the cue ball after the 3. Like this I have to play with quite big left spin and the cue ball is close to the cushion so it's pretty inconvenient for me in this situation. And another option is to play with right spin, one, two and the position for the four ball. So the biggest problem here is six ball, right? So I would like to touch the cushion somewhere around this point. So then the cue ball goes like this, this trajectory, because if I touch it here, cue ball will hide behind the six. So I have to be very careful with this two rail trajectory. Here is it. Now it's getting a little bit easier because I would say that in this drill the most difficult is these three balls. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I would prefer to play two cushions and position to the five ball. So just play in center of the cue ball. Again, checking the point of the contact with the rail first, 90 degrees angle, and then the trajectory where the cue ball goes after the contact. So I would prefer to be somewhere in this zone for the next ball.
it's quite good. I have a good angle. Rail first, position for the seven. Here I would like to get approximately in this zone because like this I could leave the cue ball in the good angle for the nine ball after. All right, I got a little bit too straight. But it's not a problem here. I still have a little angle, so I could place a cue ball here for the nine ball to play them. Position for the ten ball. I prefer to leave the angle like this because if I would be a little bit too straight here I don't really like to make this shot because you need to play the draw shot if you place the cue ball here here is the side pocket so you have to avoid it be very careful with the position for the 10 ball and here we have quite good natural trajectory to rails and position to play the 10 ball in this pocket So guys, how did you like this drill? I really hope that it was useful for you, that you can learn something and you can use it in your training process later and it will help you to improve. And I'm really looking forward to see you soon again. Take care. <laughs>